Hi everyone, today we have several fourth year medical students here to share their favorite study resources for neurology, the study schedule that they used on their rotations, as well as general tips so you can do well on your clinical clerkships. What study resources do you recommend for this rotation? Start with UWorld, there's, there's neuro questions. I liked listening to online meta lectures in the car. I did all the MBMEs. Uh, there's no Emma Holiday for neuro, so probably it'd be a good idea to pick up an extra resource for that block as well. I personally didn't. Uh, I did okay on the shelf. I think I would have liked to have done just a little bit better. So maybe I think in hindsight, I think that would be a good rotation to pick up one extra resource, like whether it's case files, pretest, or some other book. For neurology, I'd recommend uh, doing all of UWorld as well as all of case files. This was one rotation where I felt pretest was not very helpful at all. I did them all, but I didn't think it was that that great. So I'd recommend UWorld as well as uh, doing all of the case files maybe in between. There were a lot of questions on my shelf that I wouldn't have known if it w wasn't for case files. So Neuro was my very first clerkship so I didn't, I was kind of lost when I went there in the hospital but the best thing is going to be online meta case files helps a lot and then I also found a lot of the material was kind of similar to what I saw in step one just knowing like where is the lesion, what tract is injured or what part of the brain so going back to, I've actually, I cracked up in first aid for a little couple things and went through some of the um, stuff through there that kind of helped. The nice thing about neuro is a lot of it is repeat from step one. If you're like me though, and have never been good at neuro, studying for it like you studied for step one is probably almost enough to get you a pretty good score on the shelf. I would say you world as always. And then you just have to know strokes, like the back of your hand and the neuroanatomy, um, a tiny bit of farm, seizures, things like that. Just knowing the common things, that's what pops up. I had a lot of uh, MS on my shelf. And so, uh, you know, just being able from a couple sentences in a vignette to be able to tell it's MS and then knowing what the treatment is, is pretty much all you really need. Neuro is a really weak point for me and I actually did okay on that shelf. So just treat it like you treated it for step one, but just a little bit more focus on management. It's probably one of the easiest tests. You just go, I would say recommend just doing the UWorld neurology section and doing the MBME neurology tests and you're golden. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's really not that hard. Actually, using first aid, a lot of your step one resources for neuro are fine because it's a lot of the same stuff. It doesn't really change. You have to remember how to do like full neuro exams and what that means, which is hard for like the first two days but I don't even think I used anything other than like my normal step one stuff for it because it's all so similar. Definitely do the NBME so you can see if the questions are different at all because it's a little bit more management based, but I don't even remember using like a book for it at all. I think I just used questions and like redid some of my old neuro flashcards and that was good enough. How did you schedule your studying for this rotation? Just try to set daily goals, try to keep the questions low, try to keep it attainable. My neuro rotation was, I think, a little bit longer than on average. Most people said the days were a little bit shorter. I was working pretty full schedule uh, and I was driving kind of far to get to the clinic. So I think it sort of depends on where you're stationed. If you get off a little bit earlier and you got more time in the afternoon, then you can just drive home, focus on that. But if you're getting home and it's really late and you're getting tired, uh, you need to try and find ways of incorporating that studying during the day itself. Specifically with neuro, What's nice is when you do your history and physicals and you actually examine the patient, uh, uh, the diseases become a lot more vivid. You really uh, have a chance to memorize all of that stuff a lot easier when you just think about, oh yeah, that's what that was like when that, I did that physical exam on that Parkinson's patient or that person with Alzheimer's. So for neurology, I was um, both outpatient and inpatient. So whenever I was outpatient, I'd study, actually for both of them, my hours were pretty good. I didn't have to get into clinic until like 9 a.m. So I'd, I'd get a lot of my studying done in the morning. This was one of my, um, this was my last rotation. So you're pretty tired by this time. Um, so I'd wake up at like 6 a.m. and get through my 20 questions that I'd do that day. And then um, by the evening, I'd kind of be done for the day. I'd maybe just do some Anki practice questions and maybe even get some step two studying done, actually. So Nero, um, kind of similar to your family and peas, wasn't as busy of a rotation as me, or for me. Um, I was getting out a little bit earlier, showing up a little bit later versus surgery in the other rotation. So there's more time to study. For most of the rotations, the same thing is going to be making sure that you're studying every single day instead of kind of waiting till the day before your shelf. And then the same thing that's with every other rotation. There are MBME shelves that you can purchase. I think they're like $20 per shelf. And they're pretty similar to what the actual shelf is. And this goes for all the um, different clerkships, but you can buy 
there's probably like two or three for each of the different subjects. I had a, a decent amount of time to study for neuro, and um, there wasn't as much on UWorld to get through. So I would just do, you know, 20, 30 questions the day after my rotation was done, and then a case or two. And then on weekends, I would kind of double what I had done throughout the week. I found that in neurology, one of the best ways to study for the test is actually just to pay attention in clinic and to pay attention on the wards. The test contains a lot of the basic things that you see on the wards and in the clinic. And I would re and I would just pay, pay really good attention there, take good notes and make sure that you know what the common things are and how to manage those really common things, such as migraines, strokes, and seizures. Neuro is either hospital-based or more clinic-based, depending on where you're at. So if you're hospital-based, again, you have downtime, pretty much like if you're done rounding and no one's currently having a stroke, you can probably be studying somewhere in the clinic, doing it in between patients or at lunch or as soon as you go home. What general tips would you recommend to do well on this rotation? Try and be as thorough as you can with your exam because almost without fail, you, the neurologist that you're with is going to want that information. So err on the side of more detail, even if it means you're a little bit slower and you take a little bit longer. Try to be as thorough as you can. So much of neuro comes down to a really, really good physical exam and history taking. So I think that's an area that you should try and focus on while you're there. For neurology, I'd recommend knowing your physical exam really well. Um, this is something the preceptors expect from you, the entire neurology exam. Um, and also to be able to present your physical exam and your story um, in a in a very narrative form. I think the history and physical are so important to um, neurology. I felt like I, I really needed to present, and st uh, present a story and convince my preceptor about what was going on, especially in neurology. Knowing your reflexes, um, knowing your dermatomes, and knowing basically your neuroanatomy to a very basic level, actually, not to the extent that you have to know maybe as a first and second year medical student. I think you just have to know your general MCA, ACA, um, big territories. I'd also recommend knowing um, the stroke guidelines very well. These also change quite often, so make sure you're reading the most updated uh, version and not, not an old edition of a book or something. Um, so knowing the extended window for TPA, uh, for mechanical thrombectomy, contraindications to TPA, things like that. So neurology is going to be a lot of kind of where the, where is the lesion, so try to get your basics of neuroanatomy down and then become good at the neuro exam basically because your attendees are going to want to be able to see that you can do a complete neuro exam and test all the cranial nerves, look at the patient's gates, do a stroke exam if that's indicated or whatever the patient's coming with. I would say no the neuro exam. <laughs> You're going to do it a lot and then it's just like anything else. Some of the neuro cases are actually pretty tough because they're things we don't necessarily have cures for. Uh, stroke sometimes when you're seeing it can make you feel a little bit helpless because you identify the person had a stroke and maybe they can't have TPA for whatever reason. You know, they came in too late or they have a history of bleed or whatever. And so that can be hard. Um, so just, I don't know, don't let yourself get burnt out. You know, be aware that you're gonna see some hard cases. We saw Kreutzfeldt Jakob on my rotation um, and it's, it's, it's really difficult, but um, you know, it's a good learning experience and you really get to be there for patients and their families while they go through a tough time. Um, and so there's, there's a lot to get out of it. Definitely know the stroke syndromes and where they're at and make sure that you really read up on the treatment guidelines. So like the door to needle time and things like that for strokes and what time frames can like count as a stroke versus a TIA. I'm really paying attention. If, you, if you're if you a CNU student, go to Dr. Louis's review before neuro. You will thank yourself for it. He does a really, really thorough, even though it's exhausting, it's a really thorough, really good review. And it's he definitely knows what's on the test and how to do well on it. So he'll help you out by just really focusing your attention on the types of things that you need to know.